Now, if you don't think you can have a nice front garden with plenty of plants in it and somewhere to park the car, then think again, there is always a way. And this is a handy piece of kit to reinforce hexagonal plastic mesh that goes into the ground, and it means that water can penetrate through it. But at the same time, you can park your car where there's gravel or plants. These plastic grids will support the weight of a car, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install them as if you were starting your front garden from scratch. You put a landscape fabric, that's this stuff, over the soil, and then that will let the water drain through, but also stop the weeds coming up through it at the same time. And then on top of that, we put a layer of sand, and then we just bed this stuff in to the top of it. You can fill it with all sorts of stuff. Say you wanted to have a lawn, you would use a nice bit of loamy topsoil with a bit of sand in there as well. Don't use just garden compost from the garden centre because it's not quite got the body. And then it's important just to pat it down as well. Run your hand over the top to leave a nice fluffy texture, perfect for sowing grass seed. Most people over sow, they put too much down, so just sprinkle a light amount generally. The ideal time to do this is late summer, early autumn, about September, October or spring again, because the temperature is warm enough for it to germinate really well. Make sure to pat that in as well so that the grass seed is in contact with the soil and then keep it well watered while it establishes itself. And that will green up in no time. You'll have a lovely lawn that you can actually drive the car over. But I like to mix it up a little bit. You can also use gravel. Again, it's a really good medium. It's, it gives a textural contrast to a lawn and the plants surrounding it too. So you just get handfuls of gravel and just fill in the gaps like that. And again, you can drive the car over it and it looks really good. If you've already got a lawn in your front garden and you're thinking of turning it into a car park, well, why don't you use this stuff again? But just turn it over. And what you do is actually just push it into the ground, a bit like a pastry cutter, yeah? And that will actually let the grass grow through it, but be able to take the weight of a car as well. So it will green up in no time. You can see where the car tracks go, and it's as simple as that. So don't concrete them over, don't pave them all over. There's always a solution.